taken quite a turn. Hey guys, I'm Bethany and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here and I'm so excited about today's video. I've been planning it for a very long time and I'm just so excited about it. It's gonna be so much fun and it's going to be filmed probably over a couple weeks. And as you can tell, this is a book reading video. So basically I'm going to be reading Haley Pham's five star reads. So the books that Haley Pham has given five stars, if you don't know who that is, you need to watch her. She's just so entertaining, but she also has recently got into reading over the past year. She's done so many book videos. She's literally my favorite, one of my favorite YouTubers, one of my favorite booktubers. And so I really wanted to read the books that she has given five stars. A lot of books she has given five stars I have already read. So I'll talk about those at the end of this video, but I wanted to pick five books that I have not read that she has rated five stars and give them a try, see how they are. I picked quite a few different genres because I wanted to get out of my comfort zone for this video. I didn't want to read like five romance books that we all know I'm gonna love. I wanted to read some books that she's rated five stars. They're kind of books that I don't normally read. So I've been waiting on this first book to come in the mail for a couple weeks and I'm so excited about it. And it is Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. This is literally Haley Fan's like favorite book, well probably favorite romance book, of all time. She literally talks about it so much, raves about it, and it's basically been like sold out everywhere. I just haven't been able to get it. And it finally restocked on Amazon, so I ordered it and I've been waiting for it to come in to start this video and I'm so excited. This one kind of inspired me to film this video because I really wanted to see what all the hype is about of this book. It is a YA romance and it's set in high school, I believe. That's pretty much all I know about it. I think there's also like quotes from different romance movies at the beginning of each chapter so that sounds interesting and I'll probably finish it very quickly because she says it's very good so I'm very excited about this first one and it's the only one I actually own because I'm not sure about the other ones so I'm probably going to read them on my kindle or try to borrow them from the library. The next one is the Addicted slash Calloway Sister series. So many people rave about these books and I'm obviously not going to be able to read the whole series in this video but I'm going to read the first book in the series. It is like a romance series so I feel like I'll like it but then I'm also not sure about it so I'm excited to see how that one is. The next one is one she just recently read and gave five stars and it's The Guest List by Lucy Foley. It is a thriller which kind of makes me nervous but she said that it is more of like a mystery and it's not scary which is what I want in a thriller. And the next one is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. It's a series but I think I'm just gonna read the first book in this series. I can't remember who it's by. It's like a YA mystery which sounds like right up alley. I've been wanting to read this book so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to read it. So I'm excited about that one. And then the last one is Mary Jane by Jessica Anya Blau. She just read this one recently too, I think, and gave it five stars. It's like a women's fiction and I'm not so sure about it, honestly, but I really wanted to have a diverse range of books in this video. Those are the books that I'm gonna read in this video. I'm going to just take you along vlog style and we are going to read them and see how they are. It has been a few hours and I've been doing a bunch of computer stuff and eating supper. But now, we are going to start this book. I kind of want to watch Psych, the TV show. So I might only read like a few chapters or I might get really invested, who knows, but I'm gonna start it. I'm very excited. <laughs> chapter and go to sleep that's where we're at it's actually pretty good i'm enjoying it it's really cute like high school doing things in high school so it's the next day and it's a very gloomy rainy day as you can tell and i thought i would take a little midday break and read some of my book i have been doing stuff on my computer all morning and i thought i would read a chapter or two i'm currently on page 72 the chapters are relatively long so i feel like once i finish a chapter i like really got through a good bit of pages instead of like a really short chapter but i'm hoping that i will finish it today <music> been a minute. I've been reading for a good bit of the day and 
I just finished this book and all I have to say is that it lived up to every expectation that Haley Cam set and I'm gonna talk more about it tomorrow but I just had to say it was incredible. I will always think about it. It will like forever be in my memory. It's one of my favorite books ever. Highly, highly recommend. Hello guys, it is the next day. I wanted to kind of talk more about this book that I finished last night. I flew through it. Like I read about like 70 pages a couple nights ago and then like I read a few chapters kind of here and there throughout the day yesterday and then last night I literally read like all night long to finish it. I was like I need to finish it today because of this video. I'm trying to read one book a day so I can get this video up in a timely manner but I actually really enjoyed it and flew through it so I love when that happens. Basically it's about this girl named Liz and she is in high school. She's a senior in high school and she's just basically going through like all the things that you do in high school and she's also kind of dealing with grief from her mom passing away because she's having to do these things in high school without her mom and she's also like really into who romance movies and making playlists of songs and she wants to find like the perfect like love story like she wants to find a guy and have the perfect love story i loved it so much i thought it was so good i will give like really in-depth thoughts in my reading wrap up but overall five stars i thought it was the perfect YA romance like it checked every box it just made you happy like I'm sitting there reading it and I'm just like happy like I'm having a good time so it's gonna be like definitely one of my favorites of 2022 I feel like I've given so many five stars recently but this one really sticks out to me as like I will love this and I'll remember it forever and I will always remember the characters and love the characters so and now we are moving on to the very opposite end of that spectrum and I'm going to read like a mystery slash thriller I'm pretty sure this is more of a mystery and it's The Guest List by Lucy Foley I kind of read a little bit of it I read a couple chapters when I was sitting on the couch I was like I'm just gonna go ahead and start this book a little bit and see how I feel I'm not gonna like force myself to read these books if I don't like them I will DNF a book if I don't like it but I have a feeling I'm gonna like all of them so let's read let's see how it goes the dogs have taken over the couch Like halfway through the sample which i think means i'm on page 30 because normally they're like 50 to 60 pages when it's this length of book like it's a certain percentage of the book anyways i just wanted to say that i usually don't look at people that watch my stories but i was looking at the stories i posted of this book and i tagged Haley fam and she saw the stories so Haley fam knows who i am <laughs> if she saw this video i think i would lose my cool that would be crazy because i love her she's so great love to be your friend that'd be awesome it's like a you get different points of view so i've had the planner the plus one and then i'm about to start the bride so quite interesting we get multiple pers multiple perspectives okay multiple perspectives so that's kind of where we're at i'm very intrigued because i feel like it's definitely more going to be more of a mystery and you're just getting people's secrets and finding out who died because someone dies the beginning of it showed like a screaming basically so you know someone died obviously it's what the book's about but anyways i'm gonna keep reading hello guys it is the next day and last night i read basically 200 pages of the guest list and i will never be reading a thriller again because i'm terrified honestly kind of scared i did read ahead to see what was going to happen so i wouldn't be so terrified which honestly if you've read the book you're probably like bethany why are you scared because it's honestly not that bad like it's not like really scary but just some things in the book i don't like like there's self-harm in the book which i don't i don't want to read about that that makes me sad but i have like 100 pages left so i'm gonna to try to speed read the rest of the book so i can say that i finished it for this video and for my like just reading goal so i can say i actually finished reading it so i don't know i just cannot do a thriller i can't do it and i've tried and i'm scared i'm not gonna do it again now i know i've read one book before i think i talked about it things we never got over that's definitely more of a mystery compared to this this is not the same thing it's almost like a case like you're trying to find out why this person is like I don't know it's just different so this is a murder anyways i'm gonna finish this book <laughs> and never think about it again all right it's been a couple hours and i finished the book and i still feel the same way i will not be reading any more thrillers <laughs> I gave it two stars on Goodreads. That's where we're at. I'm going to read something happy next because that was not happy. I guess if you like thrillers, you would enjoy it because there's definitely like plot twists and stuff, but it's just not for me. Alrighty, it is time to start a different book that Haley Pham gave five stars to. So I think I'm going to do Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie. I'm going to see how it is. a couple days 
days and this video is taking quite a turn. I did not read a couple of the books that I mentioned at the beginning of this video because I started the Addicted series as you saw in like my last clips and I've gotten very much invested in it and now I'm on the third book. So I did not end up reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder or Mary Jane because I've been just really invested and just can't stop reading the Addicted series. So that's what I've been doing the past few days since I've last talked to you. And because of that, I decided I'm not gonna read those two books because I feel like this video was a success and that I got so invested in a series that I couldn't stop reading it. Like I read, I think the first book in the Addicted series and then tried to read Mary Jane and I was like, I don't wanna read this. I wanna read the second book in the Addicted series. So that and now I'm on the third book of the Addicted series so that's where we're at. I'm sorry <laughs> that this video took a turn. I'm sorry that I didn't read all the books that I planned to but to make up for it I'm going to first talk about the books that I read in this video and then I'm going to talk about the books that I had already read that Haley Fam has given five stars and tell you my thoughts on those. I have some that I own and then some that I'll just put a picture up. So the first book I read in this video was Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. And as I said in like previous clips, this book really lived up to Haley Fam's, like the expectations that Haley Fam set, this book lived up to them. And I just loved it. It was so cute, so fun, like just such a fun YA romance. And I recommend going into it slightly blind and just reading it as a fun YA romance about a girl in high school and not like look too much into the summary because I feel like it's more fun that way. I kind of knew a little bit about it, but I kind of wish I didn't just to see what my thoughts would have been if I just went into it not knowing anything about it. But overall, five stars. I loved it so much. And I'm so excited for Lynn Painter's next YA book to come out in November. It's gonna be so good. So I'm excited and I just love this. Now let's talk about a book that was not good in the slightest. And that is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. No. Yep, it is by Lucy Foley. Um, let's talk about it. Thrillers are not for me. Hated it. Hated how I felt while I was reading it. Hated how I like was kind of anxious and struggling to sleep. <laughs> like I literally had to like watch some happy YouTube videos to help me sleep and to, like calm my nerves because I just didn't like it. It's basically about this wedding that's happening on this like kind of stranded island almost which sounds kind of creepy in and of itself but it's basically an island that no one really lives on anymore you get like six people's points of view and you're just kind of learning about their secrets what's going on in their life and in the meantime there is like a murder that happened and you're waiting till the end to find out who did it and who was killed like you don't know if you like thrillers i guess you could read it but honestly i've heard from people that are like pretty um knowledgeable in thrillers that this one isn't very good but Haley fam did really love it she gave it five stars recently so i wanted to read it for this video because i was trying to get out of my comfort zone and i'm gonna go back in my comfort zone <laughs> because i did not like it at all like ugh, it was terrible but maybe you'll like it it was honestly like she said it wasn't scary but i just got it was like eerie like creepy vibes vibes. I didn't like it. So anyways, I'm gonna stop talking about that because it was not a good time. And now we are going to talk about the Addicted series by Kristen Becker Ritchie. Everyone's been talking about the series and these books. It's the Addicted series and the Calloway Sister series. They like intertwine. You can read them separately, but the recommended order is to read them together. And there's like 10 books in all. After the first book, or like I was like maybe halfway through the first book and I was like, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but all I know is that I just feel invested in the characters and I want to keep reading because I feel like we're like hanging out, you know? So I read the second book pretty quickly. I read it like Monday and Tuesday and now it's Wednesday and I'm currently like 60 pages in to the third book. And the third book is pretty long. The first book is like a little over 300 pages. Second book is like a little over 200 pages. It's more like a novella, kind of just middle information that you need for the third book. And then the third book's like 500 pages. So it's so good. Like this series is so good. I wouldn't give um, the first two books five stars. I give them four stars but I did really enjoy them and it makes me want to keep reading the series and where I'm at in the series now I feel like we're getting into like the drama of it and it's really giving Gossip Girl vibes. I feel like the first two books you're really setting the scene on some of the characters and then in the third book you're kind of getting into the drama which is kind of fun so honestly 
the synopsis or summary of the book i'm like i don't understand how people are reading this and like we're enjoying it because it's kind of like especially me i don't like spice at all and these books are very spicy well not very spicy but basically the first few books are about lo who is an alcoholic and lily who is a sex addict so you kind of just get like them trying to figure out their addictions and that is not something i thought i would want to read but i feel like you get so invested in them that you want to like you're like rooting for their characters to like beat their addictions and like just them as a couple so overall the books i've read so far i've really loved and i'm really happy that i filmed this video because i found a new series that i really love and i'm gonna try to read it pretty slowly because i want to like savor it because it's such like comfort reads you just like feel like you're hanging out with them and it's just like low stress like easy slow pace almost i'm just really enjoying it so i'm gonna try to take it slow and read maybe like a couple books a month from the series and then there's also a spin-off series i'm like there's so many books so i'm excited about that and i'm really enjoying it so i do recommend it if you like that summary and you want to read it i try to like skim over the inappropriate parts so those are my thoughts on the addicted series and i'm sorry that i didn't read any more of the books that I plan to read, but let's talk about some books that I had already read that Taylor Fam gave five stars, and I will share my thoughts on them as well. So the first one is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I actually have this. I'm so happy that I have this. I found it at the thrift store, which was literally insane, and I read it literally about a year ago at this point. I borrowed it from the library and I read it, I think in like one or two sittings pretty quickly, and I did give it five stars. It's like about this band in the 70s, and it's all written in dialogue. As you can see, it's like all the characters are talking basically the whole time. And it's just really good. I really love this book. And I agree with Haley that this is such a good book. I highly recommend it. Very like just really easy book to get through. Next is Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. I got this book recently because I want to reread it. I read it early 2021 and I don't really remember a lot of details. I do remember that I really loved it. It's so good. It's a second chance romance like childhood friends to lovers. I highly recommend this one as well. Next is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. If you watch my videos, you know how I feel about this book. It's one of my favorites of all time. It's so good. I just love it so much. It's another second chance romance childhood friends to lovers set in the summer at a lake house six summers to fall in love one moment to fall apart a weekend to get it right so good i highly recommend this one as well next is the summer broken rules by k.l walther i loved this book it was so cute so good it's a ya romance and basically the main character meredith is on martha's vineyard for her cousin's wedding and she is kind of grieving her sister that has passed because this is the first time she's been back to Martha's Vineyard since her sister passed. And you just kind of go through that, but there's also a game of assassin and then a boy that comes along. And I loved it, so good, five stars. The other two were also five stars. It was just such a fun summer read, so loved it. Next is The Roughest Draft by Emily Wibberly and Alston Siegman Broca. I had mixed emotions about this book, but overall I did really love it. It's about co-writers and they basically wrote a book four years ago and then they kind of stopped talking and now they're writing another book and it kind of just goes through them writing this new book. It's written by co-authors, which is super fun. So I really liked it. I thought it was a good book. I did give it five stars, but like when I think about my favorite books of 2022, this, I'm not sure if it's on that, but I did love it. Like I thought it was such a good book, but something about it is just not like tugging at me. I feel like I wasn't connected to the characters as much as some of these other books. So now onto the books that I don't own. So first is Beach Read by Emily Henry. I love this book. It's set at a beach house and it's just super fun. So I really enjoyed it and I do recommend it. I feel like all these books are just so good. Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I love that book too. It's kind of more like serious and kind of like heavy a little bit, but not as heavy as some of Colleen Hoover's other books, but I did really enjoy it. It's about this girl who just got out of prison and she goes to the town where she did the thing that got her to go to prison and you know you just see what happens it's quite interesting the love hypothesis by ali hazelwood i read that in june i think loved it so much it's like a fake dating academic book she's getting her phd and she kisses the professor so very interesting once you love by taylor jenkins reed love this book as well i feel like i didn't rate it as high as other people but i really enjoyed it she is married and the guy disappears in a plane crash and she thinks he's dead so she is engaged to someone else and then he calls her 
It's a horror deal. That's literally just the summary of the back of the book, so I didn't spoil anything. And then Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I really love this book as well, but probably not as much as the other ones. Maybe like four and a half stars. And it's like a brother's best friend type situation, and it's pretty heavy too, just to let you know. And then the Summer I Turn Pretty series by Jenny Holland. I love the series. I don't know if I would give the whole series five stars. I don't know. Maybe I would, but I loved it so much. I loved the show so much, and it was just so good. Like, I highly highly recommend it. As you can tell from the sit down chat, pretty much every book that Haley Fan recommends, I really love, except like thrillers, not for me. Some of these books I did get recommendations from her. Some of these books I just read because they were popular. Overall, I think this video was a success. I feel like 95% of the time, if I read a book she recommends, I really love it. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link Haley Fam's videos, channel, all that below if you're interested. She has a regular channel and a vlog channel and her vlog channel is basically just books, which is great. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. I loved like vlogging as I read and like giving my thoughts. It was super fun. And I wanna do more like reading videos and like reading vlogs. So let me know if you wanna see that. I'm obviously not a book channel, but I really wanna incorporate that in my content. So I hope you are liking it. But you can also follow me on Instagram. I post fun stuff over there. And then I also have a book Instagram where I post just like book recommendations, book reviews, what I'm currently reading as the month goes on, and it's just super fun. But I think that's it. So I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.